Hi guys, this is Jeremy here. So today I have another LEGO Star Wars set. This is the 501st Legion Clone Trooper number 75280. This set is actually a bit more pricey than the normal battle pack because you actually get both a walker and also a speedo bike. And instead of the normal 4 mini fix, this set actually comes with 6 mini fix, which is uh, one. 501st Jet Trooper, 3 501st Chrome Trooper, and 2 Battle Droid. So if you actually get this set, you can actually build up 2 different army. One is the 501st Chrome Army, and then the other one is the Battle Droid. That's why it's a very interesting one for me. So first up, this is the 501st Chrome Trooper. So you, as you can see, like it has the blue color on the white. The only thing is that uh, the actual one actually is supposed to be there, uh, some blue here at the arm here, but there isn't here. So, you know, the previous file one, they actually have the whole thing is blue, but this time is they make into white. And this guy is like holding a blaster and I really like the printing all these and the headgear to me it's actually very nice and the face is yeah try to get the camera back to focus yeah okay so this one for this set is uh he's actually more to the tan side instead of the usual fair fair looking color face there's no double face so there's only one face and then this is the back the printing nice i like the detail of all this you know it would be nice if they can have like you know like blue on the upper arm here instead of all white but anyway it's still it's still a very nice one and you know, I'm, I'm hoping that i can get a few of of this set so that i can have a small file first chrome trooper army Okay, next up, this is actually the file first jet trooper. So the difference between the normal file first trooper and the jet trooper is that they are supposed to have a jet that can actually propel them, you know, for fast action movement, flying around all this. But uh, in general, it's like there's also like white and blue all this, and this is a different one from the normal trooper. And this time, this jet trooper actually has a blue arm. Um, and the side here instead of the grey color is blue and then there's also more printing here and also the printing below the helmet very nice and the body pack all this and the leg all this there's also quite some printing all this and as for this jet trooper he's actually using a bigger blaster so as you can see it's really big and the face is actually the same as the the file first trooper which is the 10 face all this so they are all clones so they are supposed to look the same yeah and then the back here is actually uh, the jetpack is blue in color jetpack so very nice and to, just to let you see there's no second face here so only one face yeah there's no more printing at the back here yeah, and the blue arm so this is actually the back printing of the file first jet trooper so if you actually see here this uh, so very nice and the blue color here with all the small little detail on the back here yeah very nice one yeah actually I really like it a lot So the last set of uh, mini fix is the battle droid, which actually that's actually supposed to be two pieces. So I think uh, basically this is just a normal battle droid with a blaster, and then the arm is supposed to be like one straight and then one bend, and the head is supposed you can actually supposed to be able to tuck this whole thing in, and using the same blaster as the no the, the the normal troop. The 501st Trooper. Yeah, 
I do like you know like the small little detail on the side arm of arm here the legs and here you can see like there's a one single starch where you can use it to attach to certain things or backpack all this a nice very nice yeah, it's, I really like to have a few more sets so that I can build up some droid army also yeah Okay, next up is the speedo bike. It's actually a very nice one and it's actually bigger than what I thought it would be. And it actually comes with uh, two start shooter at the front here. And this part here is actually a sticker with the two side here which is using the the shape, the snow snow border thing and then the controller so you can actually sit one minifig so let's uh, put one of the 501st trooper here to let him sit okay and he can actually hold on to the joystick So he can actually control the the speedo bike. Yeah, very nice. And here at the back here, there's another of the snow snowboarder piece. And then there's actually two laser on the top here, which I think is the blaster represent the blaster of the snow trooper. And as for the back here, there's actually an one, two, and then the third piece of sticker. So when you actually stick this, you have to be quite, kind of like quite careful. For here, I'm actually quite close, but the other side, I think I actually alignment is not so accurate. So yeah, so you have to be very careful. This thing can actually turn up and down, but I think it's supposed to kind of like face straight to the front. Yeah, very nice with the slope here and the cheese slope inside here. Yeah, I actually like this. Uh, Speedo bike quite a lot. It's a bit big, you know, but uh, very nice. Especially and the front here, you can see like that's actually. I don't know. This is more. This is this like kind of like an air inlet bike or this, and it actually kind of like sits straight down. Only thing is that, uh, like, I don't really see any place I can put his blaster. Yeah, so. Maybe, maybe you'll just you know one hand hold the handle, the other one hold the blaster. But still, it's a very nice. I really like it a lot. And the last one for this set is the Fire First Chrome Trooper Walker. If you actually look at the front here, you can see there's a start shooter over here, and there's a number of stickers here, here, and here. There's three pieces, one on the side and one on the other side, where you can see as a 501st plus sticker on the two legs here and the other side also so there's a few stickers but not really that a lot but you especially the front here you need to try to align it so that it looks nicer if not might like, you know look a bit weird and this start shooter actually is on a ball joint so you can actually rotate it and fire starts from here and the top this part is movable and so does the two wing the wing over on the side here is this is also movable and as for the top here there's actually a printed console and this is where the driver seat and the handle so let's get the driver and you can actually put in sitting here holding on to the control then as his weapon there's actually a clip here there's two one of each side so one of it is actually 
holding a binoculars and then the other one is can actually put his weapon here so good at least he has a place to put his weapon and the back antenna here this is like one can rotate up and down for the body wise you can't actually rotate left and right so it's kind of like fixed on the bricks and as for the leg here you can actually articulate it up all the way yeah it can go up all the way almost all the way because but this part will be blocked then as for the front it's actually blocked here so this is the max you will go for this part and here as for the the lower part here is so, also you can articulate all the way until I would say almost 90 degrees and the front yeah so yeah she got blocked here by the bricks here and as for the feet this is actually you can actually yeah it's movable all the way until straight and until here where it's blocked by the bricks again and of course here the claw is also movable so you can actually have a bit of pose just that you know when you're actually doing the pose you need to try to balance it because actually the top here is much more heavier than the leg so you really need to be able to balance the leg so can I actually, can I actually kind of like I'll like move it here. Yeah, so there's some dust dust then. Yeah, let's see. I'm trying to see if I can go even further. Yes. Yeah, so kind of like like make it look like it's kind of like moving, having a bit of walking action. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, and I really like the blue color. So the blue all over the place here. Yeah, with the grey, yeah, light grey and dark. Here there are some dark grey. Very nice. Yeah. Really like it a lot. So yeah, there's the fire first. Chrome Trooper Walker. Overall, I would say this set is actually quite worth getting, especially if you intend to build both a Fire First Army and also the Battle Droid. So it would be nice to have both. I hope you guys enjoy the review and don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys. Ciao!